What's going on guys, it's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the best basic training in Call of Duty World War 2 after the patch that was released today on November 29th. Now I would say within the first probably two or three days of Call of Duty World War 2 coming out and all the pros just really grinding the game and leveling up super fast, trying all the different basic trainings, trying every single thing in the game basically, trying to figure out okay what is the best class setup, what is the best gun, the best basic training, uh, the best equipment everything like that uh, and it came to the conclusion pretty quickly that uh, hustle and primed were the basic trainings that you needed to be running in order to be competitive with everybody else in the game now hustle was definitely used more by SMG and shotgun players um, and, and this is goes for pubs as well as competitive players uh, they were you know especially the SMG players were really using hustle because you always were running and gunning and reloading as fast as possible uh, and then the AR players and and really just the overall semi pros were saying that primed was definitely the best by far um, and I even I know like Nadeshot shot tweeted this out like everybody pretty much agreed after the first three or four days two three four days whatever um, that primed was the best basic training followed by hustle depending on your class setup so with today's patch that they released they actually nerfed primed a little bit um, and we don't know the exact specifics at the time of me recording this video uh, but I want to say that that primed and hustle are actually not the best basic trainings in the game uh, and that's that's really really good news because they ended up nerfing one of the basic trainings primed that isn't actually the best and I'm going to explain to you guys why primed isn't needed when you're playing pubs like you guys and everybody else when when everybody was like okay primed is obviously the best you need it for gunfights because flinch is crazy in this game I was like okay Sure, yeah, like if everyone's using this, like if everyone's gonna have reduced flinch, then they're gonna be killing me if I'm not using it, so I better put on primed. Um, but I didn't really notice too much of, a, of an, a drastic increase. I just kind of went along with it because I figured, hey, everyone else is using it. Um, and then I quickly realized that whatever is working for the pros is not really what you wanna be using for um, your standard public match because the people that you're gonna be versing in public matches aren't necessarily really good at the game. That doesn't mean that they're gonna be hitting all their shots. Um, and that means that you don't really need primed primed is a really 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 good basic training if the people that you're versing are pretty much guaranteed gonna be landing shots on you uh, and that's not always the case in pubs and I think you know in in um, professional matches you know the traffic patterns and the way that the game plays out uh, is kind of like at such a high level that it's a little bit more predictable because you know that most people are going to be running the best guns and the best situations you know which players are you know submachine gun players versus assault rifle players uh, and you kind of have an idea on how the game's going to play out or at least you'll have a better you know it's more controlled it's a more controlled environment where certain things are banned so you can't even use those you know so in those instances in those controlled professional instances primed is really good uh, because it gives you such an edge against a player that is probably the exact same skill level as you uh, and you really need that upper hand so in those instances literally milliseconds matter um, and and that's where primed comes into play you can't afford to miss a single bullet and that's where it's good in public matches it's basically you can use whatever you want it doesn't matter um, anyone can be running around with you know akimbo pistols or, or a rocket launcher or whatever you know people can be using kill streaks that are banned in in um you know in professional matches so it's it's a complete like wild west war zone where there's really no rules uh and and in those instances you're going to be dying to other things other factors that you don't even have to take into account uh when you know when you're playing in a public match versus a you know a professional match um especially because professional matches are only 4v4 right and you're going to be versing even more people than that uh in a public match so that's why I feel like, you know, once the once the pros were like, oh, Primed is the best, it's like, yeah, for you guys, it's the best. And of course, you can use it in pubs, and it's really, really powerful, but it's not the best basic training for pubs by far. Definitely not. Um, you definitely do not need it. You know, maybe if your KD is sitting around like a 2.5 or higher, and you're just constantly getting into matches with super, super top tier players, okay, maybe then you might need Prime, but for, you know, 90% of people, you don't need to run Primed. Uh, and that leaves me with Hustle. Is Hustle the best basic training no hustles definitely not the best best basic training um maybe again maybe if you know you are running and gunning and the players in your lobby are really really good you'll need hustle on 
um, you know, especially if you're like not a very good player and you don't really understand when to run around corners or when not to, or you're just constantly moving, or if this is a new Call of Duty for you, maybe Hustle would be a good crutch perk just for now while you're learning the game because you're constantly reloading, you can't be caught off guard at, at all. Um, so if you're, you know, if you're a player that's not very good, maybe Hustle is okay. Um, but I'm here to tell you guys the best basic training in Call of Duty World War II by far is lookout if you guys don't know what lookout is this is what the the text says enemies appear from further away and increased minimap coverage now the increased minimap coverage is really kind of like a, a bonus for what we're gonna be using for um, but it's really 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 good and I'm, I'm gonna explain that in a second what's really important about lookout is it is seeing your enemies from farther away now this basically what this means is when you you know look at an enemy in this game uh, their name will appear in red above your head uh, and in with lookout on this range the range from which your player can see their red name above their head is really really far um, it's like as far as I can imagine like there are hardly any instances where this won't work uh, that you'll even want to get into a gunfight like if, if this isn't working then that gunfight is what you're like you're on top of Gustav cannon uh, and you're looking all the way at the far corner like like it's the range on this is incredible um, and it's almost never gonna fail uh, what that means is you know you can peek corners super super quickly and see if anybody is down a long alleyway uh, and you'll know instantly because you'll see their red name pop up uh, so you'll know you know you could peek and say okay that might be a sniper I'll go a different way so not only is lookout good for playing defensively you know where you're not just blindly running down corridors or blindly doing whatever um, you will know if people are on head glitches from really far away um, it's really difficult to see people on some of the head glitches in this game because the whole game this the color palette of Call of Duty World War 2 is browns and grays and dark colors so it's really difficult sometimes to see someone who is head glitching on a spot higher up farther down the map you know you might peek there and you might say okay is that a head I think it's a head um, and by that time they are already scoped on you even if you've only been peeking for a second so with this you can really 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 gain a ton of information um, just at a quick glance so you can spend more time behind cover and make those flash judgments like okay do I need to go this way no uh, and the other cool thing is you know if you peek and you don't see a name then you can say okay you know I peeked to this one corner that lead that's a, a full quarter you know if you're on the um, what USS Texas or whatever um, you can peek and see okay there's no snipers all the way at the other end that means people are either on the other side of the map or probably in the building somewhere um, and that just that information now you don't have to waste your time running down that whole side of the map just to find that the spawns have already flipped uh, so again get, getting that information whether you're whether there's an enemy there or not you can use it offensively or defensively so do you offensively do you want to commit to running all the way down there or defensively should I turn around this corner because I saw that someone was down that hallway and I only have an SMG whereas they probably have a sniper or an assault rifle so lookout is really 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 good because it gives you tons of information and it's really um, it's really like the target finder um, attachment from Call of Duty Black Ops 2 a lot of people hated the target finder because you know you could sit on um, oh, I don't remember what the hijacked you could sit on hijacked and like aim down like super long lines of sight and you can tell where players are because it outlines them and this is very similar to that because the range on this is really 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 good um, so the best part about this like I said is seeing those those red names I cannot tell you the number of times that this has saved me since I put it on uh, you get so much information where you know you can quickly react to things that normally would kill you but now at least you have a chance to turn on somebody or you at least have a chance uh, to not sprint around a corner and just get melted so getting that information getting that information is just so much better than the flinch reduction from primed because now you know primed is good for gunfights that you know maybe aren't in your favor but with this you're not even going to get into gunfights that aren't in your favor because you get that information and you can safely peek back around cover and decide okay well, will I win that gunfight? Probably not. Let's just go around a different way and put the odds in my favor. And that's really what Call of Duty is all about, uh, is putting gunfights in, in a position where you're most likely going to win. That's why people head glitch. That's why people take certain traffic patterns or whatever you know the case might be. Um, that's why... 
uh, the Blackbird was such a good top tier kill streak in all of the games and all of its variations across all the Call of Duties uh, because it gives you so much information about the enemy you know what direction they're facing you know that's why it, it takes so many kills just to get that because you know you know so much about the enemy and this is the same thing you know you're getting all this information about an enemy um, from super far away and if they don't have lookout on then all they saw was that you peeked around and maybe they'll keep waiting there aiming down sights waiting for you to get that kill where you're already moved on you've already gotten a kill somewhere else or you know maybe one of your teammates uh, flanked them at that point because they were just sitting there camping uh, waiting for you to peek back around so you know lookout is just so so good and I feel like it's with with the information that you get you can plan out your reloads right so if you get a kill and you know that there's another person that you just saw peek down the hall uh, you know okay I you know they're probably gonna rush me right now I shouldn't reload because they're about to come at me or okay now I, it's safe to reload I know that the only person down this corridor is all the way at the end and, and I can reload by the time they get here so you just get so much information that you know if you play the game right with lookout on uh, you don't need primed and you don't need hustle because you're getting all this information so you know what gunfights to get into where it's in your in your favor so therefore you don't need primed and you know if you have enough time to reload in a lot of cases um, so you don't need hustle uh, and on top of that you get that bonus mini minimap coverage which is really really good um, there's a ton of UAV spam in this game just as there have been for the past bunch of Call of Duties uh, because in my opinion we haven't seen good kill streaks since Black Ops 2. Uh, every single game has had kill streaks, and every game's kill streaks have been fucking garbage ever since then. Advanced Warfare had that one little drone that had rockets on it, and you could fly it around, and it had Target Finder, and that thing was kind of cool. But you weren't getting 10 kills with it, you know? You weren't getting 8 kills with it. You, you know, it was just, it was an average kill streak, right? And the kill streaks are the same in this game. Yeah, glide bomb, you'll get one kill. Uh, strafe run, maybe you'll get one kill. It, it, the, kill the kill streaks are garbage. So no one's gonna run the high kill streaks. They're always gonna run UAV, probably counter UAV as well. Um, so with that being said, everyone's throwing up UAV. And you know, like I said, information is king in this game. And and I've noticed that with people, when you're versing someone or a team and they constantly are throwing up UAVs, it's harder and harder to catch up because they just constantly know where you are. Uh, and a lot of times in this game, people are running the infantry division or they're running the uh, airborne division and they're really not using Mountaineer with you know a fully maxed out Mountaineer that gives you uh, silent movement and whatever. I forgot what, um, what makes you a not appear on mini maps to UAVs, but people aren't really using that. So, you know, everyone's showing up on mini maps at all times. And uh, with that being said, everyone's running a mini map. So now, not only do you get, um, you know, the the information from looking, uh, from peeking and seeing someone's name far down the down down the line, uh, you also get a larger mini map. And you know, if you're winning more gunfights, you're going to get more kill streaks. So it means you're going to get more UAVs, and those UAVs are better than than ever before because you're getting a bigger coverage now. Uh, and these maps aren't that big, right? So you're, you're getting a lot of information with Lookout, and I feel like for public matches, it's just so much better than uh, any other basic training. And honestly, that's that's where this the discussion is going to come in, and that's where I'm going to have you guys comment down below. What do you guys think of Sledgehammer's, uh, you know, choice to only give you one perk plus a you know a division that let you that gives you a couple you know little bonus uh, things here and there? Let me know in the comment section below because I feel like with a with Lookout being so as strong as it is, um, and of course you know Primed and Hustle are good as well. You're gonna be wanting if you're not running one of those three, you're at a huge disadvantage. But I feel like Lookout is just so much better. With that being such a powerful basic training, you're, there's like there's like 20 other basic trainings in the game that no one are no one's ever gonna use, right? Uh, there's so many or 15. I don't even know how many they are. Um, it looks like there's 21. There's 21 basic trainings. One of them is super powerful. There are two others that are contenders, depending on the situation and the map and the teams. The other 18 are never gonna get used unless you're just fucking around, right? So I feel like they just kind of drop the ball there right they really made a, a like two, three basic training super super good no one's gonna use launched right no one's gonna use launched no one's gonna use espionage because lookout gives you more information than espionage and it's better right espionage bullet damage paints enemies on the mini map for your team okay so you're helping them out right uh but it's just a mini map coverage and you know if you got the kill it doesn't matter so lookout gives you the information of where they are it's just, it's just blows my mind like some of these basic trainings are garbage and then there's three of them that are really good so let me know in the comment section below 
do you think they should have put in the three perk system that we've had since the beginning of Call of Duty? Or do you think um, that this basic training thing is better, it just needs some work? Let me know, like I said, um, and if you've ever used Lookout, then tell me your experiences with it, and if you haven't, throw it on a class or two, um, and let me know how you do with it. Uh, for a while, I was running it on my assault rifles and on my sniper rifles, um, and since then I've even put it on my SMG classes, because it's still, like, even if you have an SMG, you can still gauge if you want to get into those long-range gunfights, or if you're, if you, you know, can avoid a long-range gunfight because of Lookout, it's super, super good information. So, I use it on every class now, um, except for shotguns, shotguns I still use Hustle, that's about it, and I never really even use shotguns. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, this has been Omni York, and I will talk to you guys again soon, peace.